Hi, this is Brian. Welcome back to another Heroic Plus One. In our last Plus One, we chatted about the science of what's known as social loafing. As you may recall, research shows that people tend to do less than they're capable of when their individual effort can't be clearly measured within a group activity. Now, that was the bad news. The good news was the fact that there's an antidote to social loafing. That answer is you showing up and giving all you've got. That one person, you, me, all of us, showing up and doing our best inspires those around us to do the same. How cool is that? Now, I got that idea from a great book called The Captain Class by Sam Walker. Here's how he describes it in his book. He says, quote, One of the first scientists to explore the dynamics of group effort was a French agricultural engineer named Maximilian Ringelmann. In 1913, Ringelmann conducted an experiment in which he asked his students to pull on a rope, both individually and in groups, while he measured the force they exerted. The conventional view was that people in a group would have more power collectively than they did alone. In other words, adding people to the pulling group would have a multiplying effect on the force. He continues by saying, but the results showed something surprising. While total force applied did grow with every person added, the average force applied by each person fell. Rather than amplifying the power of individuals, the act of pulling as a team caused each person to pull less hard than they had when pulling alone. Later researchers coined a name for this phenomenon. They called it social loafing, end quote. Social loafing, I repeat, it's what scientists call the tendency for individuals performing within a group to slack off. As Sam says in the next paragraph, when describing a different study proving the same phenomenon, the less identifiable one person's effort is, the less effort they put in. Yikes. Thankfully, as we discussed, there's an antidote to this tendency. Here it is. Back to Sam. He tells us to add a twist to the Ohio State experiment. Researchers at Fordham University decided to look at whether social loafing could be overcome. They wanted to see whether one person giving a maximum effort could incite others to improve their performance. Now, this study, parenthetical aside, had people shout for some reason was the exertion that they had them do. So the scientists grouped their shouters in pairs. And before they began shouting, told them that their partner was a high effort performer. In these situations, something interesting happened. The pairs screamed just as hard together as they had alone. The knowledge that a teammate was giving it their all was enough to prompt people to give more themselves. He continues by saying this experiment demonstrated that high effort or just the perception of high effort is transferable. In other words, the Ringelman effect can be counteracted. The antidote is the knowledge that someone else in the group is leaving nothing in reserve. The Fordham study seemed to confirm my suspicions about Tier 1 captains. Their displays of tenacity could have positively influenced the way their teams perform. Now, Sam's book is called The Captain Class, subtitled A New Theory of Leadership. His theory? The greatest sports teams in history were driven to greatness by one person, their captains. The case studies he shares to prove this point include the U.S. women's national soccer team captain, Carla Overbeck, who was famous for her preparation and conditioning, playing 3,547 consecutive minutes in 62 straight matches without leaving the field. Then there's Barcelona's Carlos Puyol, who had a relentlessness and palpable focus and determination on the field that inspired his teammates. Then there's the All Blacks captain, Buck Shelford, who made his way into the Extreme Doggedness Hall of Fame when he played through a torn scrotum. I kid you not, ouch. All of which brings us back to social loafing and its antidote, it's simple. We need you to be the one setting the pace. So give us all you've got today. Little PS, when we counteract the negative effects of social loafing, we have a shot at catalyzing the positive effects of synergy. Check out another plus one called when one plus one equals four. Let's pull together for more on that.